the three top most important skill sets develop, either within your career, whether you're transitioning your career, or starting your own business. Number one, networking. Number two, marketing, branding, advertising, and sales. And number three, public speaking and communication. And I'll go through each of the three skill sets. Number one, networking. Jim Rohn said that the you are the average of the five people that you surround yourself with. Another one of my mentors said that your network is your net worth. And let's examine why this is. As a medical doctor, we're taught to go to class, learn from the lecture, study, take an exam, pass our exams, treat patients. We're taught to go to the hospitals, see our patients, then go home. This skill set of a clinician is a microcosm of the real world. It's a highly desirable skill set if you're a healer. The ability to see a patient, take a history and physical, make an assessment, make an accurate diagnosis, order the appropriate lab tests, imaging modalities, and direct the plan of treatment. It's also a highly valuable skill set to market when you're transitioning careers. There are thousands of people who would kill to have the education, experience, training that physicians have gone through. It's also extremely valuable in various other industries as a consultant in the medical device industry, in the pharmaceutical industry. Because these industries re rely on the skill set and experience of physician to give their input in order to develop the most useful and safe, safest products. However, the skill set of pivoting, changing, starting your own business, becoming an entrepreneur requires a different set of skills. These are real world skill sets, how to market, advertise, brand, sell yourself, your strengths. So networking is a skill that has to and can be developed. As opposed to financial capital, what we're talking about here is social capital, the ability to build a network of authentic, personal, and professional relationships rapidly, quickly, efficiently, and effectively. This is the most important asset in your portfolio aside from your financial portfolio. So let's examine the advantages of networking and why it's so important. Number one, we're not alone. We live in an interconnected world. We can't survive on our own. In the past, we were surrounded by tribes where social conditioning was so powerful. We were conditioned to stay within the group. Now in the digital age, we are individualized, but now all our tribes are via connections through online, Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, Snapchat. Number two, every person, thing, funding, idea, resource is within six degrees of freedom away. What one person doesn't have, another person does. So it's so important to be connected to a network so that you have access to those resources that you need or want that are essential for your survival. Number three, leverage. Through the power of networking, you can leverage other people's time, talent, and resources. And in return, you give back to the network through your time, talent, and resources. Number four, you don't have to reinvent the wheel. Isaac Eismoff said, if I have gone farther, it is by standing on the shoulders of giants. Number five, in my company, in the initial stages, I had to hustle, go out there, get clients, get business, get customers. Through the power of networking, all of my repeat clients, my lifelong customers have been through referrals, word of mouth from happy, satisfied customers who in turn went and told their friends, who in turn went and told their friends and colleagues, and so on. Number six, increased emotions and happiness. There was a study that was conducted where individuals that were isolated, lonely, single, were more likely to have issues, both physical, mental, emotional issues, and were more statistically more likely to not survive in times of hardship and turmoil. So it's important to have a good, strong network, both personal as well as professional. 
And number seven, technology is accelerating all of these. So let's get into some requirements for networking. One is to be very proactive at it. Always schedule time one to two days out of the week to go out and meet, strategically meet people and build your professional and personal network and relationships. And you want to do this before you are thinking of changing a career, starting your own business, starting your own company. That way, when the time comes, you will have that resource available if you need it, if and when you need it. To be strategic, identify those individuals who can put a good word of word of mouth for you, who can refer you to other colleagues, clients, friends, who can help you get to where you need to be. Be strategic. Also, diversity. It's really important to network with others who have a variety of different skill sets than yourself. For example, if you're a physician, you don't just want to just network with physicians. You want to network with businessmen, maybe lawyers, accountants, anybody who can expand your circle of influence, your circle of reach, someone who can put you in contact with another person. The more diversity you have in your network, the more fruitful and the more beneficial it will be for you when the time comes when you need it. So not only diversify your portfolio, not only di diversify your skill set, but also diversify your network. And number four, pay it forward and learn to leverage relationships. You don't access the network just to take, take, take. You're putting yourself in the network so that you are a contributing active member of the ecosystem. You give, pay it forwards, and in return the network helps you as well. A great book I recommend is Your Network is Your Net Worth by Porter Gale, forward, forward by Guy Kawasaki. Unlock the hidden power of connections for wealth, success, and happiness in the digital age. Copyright 2013. Number two, marketing, advertising, sales, and branding. So I mentioned in, in the networking section, not only should we diversify our portfolios to have income streams from active as well as passive sources, we should diversify our skill sets. So marketing, advertising, sales, and branding is a key component of the second portion. So one, you have to learn how to market, advertise, sell yourself, your, your strengths, your skills, how you can fit into the company, how you can start your own company. As time progresses and you develop a strong professional network, you, have a, you develop a strong skill set, you develop a strong reputation, you can leverage that into more the ability to get hired, to get promoted, how to get people to buy from you, how to start your own company, how to get funded, how to, get, how to raise capital, how to get investors on board, how to get customers, how to keep them happy, and how to keep them remaining loyal. Also, commu communication. So, in my future videos, I'll go over some specific details on how to e achieve each of these aims. If you like what you've heard so far, click down below, like, subscribe to my channel. So, moving on to the communication form. They can either be in various forms. It can be in person. It can be written. It can be through audio, telephone, video. FaceTime, online, there's so many different modes of communication. Blogs, video blogs, presentations, speaking engagements, all of these forms of communication, if you do it correctly, you can market, advertise, and sell yourself and increase the value of your brand very effectively. And then the last skill set to develop is public speaking and communication. So this is key. So much of our world revolves around communication. We have to be able to concisely convey our message in the shortest amount of time possible in the most potent and most memorable way. In today's increasingly distracted world where we have so many sources competing for our attention, we have to develop the ability to communicate and speak to our target audience in the most effective way possible.
One of the ways I recommend is join Toastmasters. Start by giving free public speaking engagements. Take up stand-up comedy in order to develop your spontaneity, your timing, developing your sense, particular personal sense of humor. And so that's it for today. If you liked what you've heard, like the video, subscribe to my channel, and talk to you next time. Thanks.